This video will guide you through the main features of the IFRS Accounting Standards Navigator, which is integrated into the IFRS.org website. To access the standards and their supplementary materials, click on the IFRS Accounting tab on the main menu. This will take you through to the IFRS Accounting menu page. From here, click on IFRS Accounting Standards and this will take you through to the Standards Navigator landing page. Here, you will see a tile for each of our standards using the drop-down. Each tile has a flag in the top right corner. By selecting this flag, you are bookmarking the chosen standard to your personal bookshelf. A marker may also be seen on the tile. P stands for Project in Progress and signifies a technical project in progress that may affect the standard in the future. This marker will only display where a project is in progress. It will not appear if no active project connected to the standard exists. Bound Volumes and Translations tab. This is where our bound volume PDF collections are stored. The series of drop-down menus allow you to navigate between the language and the year. There is also a drop-down menu for the bound volume that you wish to view within each language. So, for example, if you are specifically interested in the required standards, you can filter the list here. By clicking on one of these standards, you will access the relevant PDF. Note that you can also filter the collection to see only those standards that you have bookmarked on the initial landing page. Once you click on a specific standard, a PDF reader will open in a new tab. IFRS Standard Landing Page By clicking on one of the standards in the IFRS Standards Navigator landing page, you'll arrive at a landing page for that particular standard. Here you'll find three tabs but will always start off in the Central Standard tab. About for information about the standard and various related links and materials. Standard. Here the standard itself displays in an HTML reader and news for news items connected to the standard. In the About tab, you'll find a brief description of the standard as well as its due process history. On the right, you will see entries for the following where appropriate and available. Related active projects related completed projects, related IFRS standards, related IFRIC interpretations, unconsolidated amendments, and implementation support. The News tab contains a chronological list of all news items released by the IFRS Foundation in connection with the standard. Here, you will find two drop-down menus allowing you to filter the news items by year and type such as Agenda Decision, Amendment, Consultation, IFRS Amendment, IFRS Taxonomy Update, Podcast, Speech, Update, Webcast and Webinar. The Standard tab. The Standard HTML viewer is your way into the text of the standard. This text is held within a series of boxed headings that you can open and close at will. You are also able to open all the boxes in order to simply scroll through the entire standard by clicking the Expand All button. Our annotations and taxonomy tables are treated as layers and can be turned on and off at will by using these sliders. Search In the top right corner, you will note a search bar. This search is across the bound volume collection that you are currently in. The results are presented in a table, with both the title of the document and its type clearly identified. Here we searched for measurement and found that it does indeed appear in IFRS 16. At this point, we leverage the browser's own search capability to pinpoint the specific occurrences of measurement within IFRS 16. Click on the link to the standard in the Standard tab, click on the Expand All button to expand all heading elements. Hit Control F, type Measurement in the browser search box. 
you will see the number of hits on the web page. You can find the search hits in the standard by using the arrow buttons here. You will also see the hits highlighted as you scroll down the page. We hope that you enjoy using the Standards Navigator. For more information, visit ifrs.org or contact us at customerservices at ifrs.org.